First and foremost, a school has to be a place of joy, a place where kids want to be. And to the extent that we were able to integrate those through the environmental graphics, through um, talking about elements of the environment in the different parts of the building, um, make it a place that is fun and engaging. We sat down as a project team and said, what does this mean as a child as you start at pre-K and you move through and you, you move up through the grade levels? So we studied the video called The Powers of Ten by Charles and Ray Eames, and it looks at things from the microscopic level out to the large universe and solar system. So the kids begin to identify how the world starts to work with the elements of the building. Signage is not only fun and educational, but it's really useful as well. Curriculum is just something the state gives to us, and you can teach that anywhere. But with this space, we can really get creative and experiment. So we as a staff focus more on how do students learn and how can we enhance that experience with this tremendous space that we have. You know, one of the most memorable things for me was seeing one student come in with his parents and hear his parents ask him, you know, where's your classroom? And he's pulling them, tugging them down the hallway saying, I'm a pelican in the ocean. Um, he was legitimately invested and excited about that wayfinding and how he now was interacting with his school. Their way of thinking is changing every day as you watch them. It's, it's pretty neat to experience. And they're becoming very self-motivated in their thinking about how to be green and how to be environmentally friendly. If we can make a place that kids can't wait to get to in the morning and don't want to leave in the evening, and then on top of it, make it a great example of sustainability and civics and responsibility, we can have a really incredible impact on the world.